Hey everyone, Dr. Liz here. I'm talking to you for a few minutes about what can be kind of an icky topic, and that's plagiarism. Now, I've linked inside of the Milestone One documents the link to SNHU's um, document about exactly what is considered plagiarism and ways that you can avoid it. And I'm going to trust you to go through that and read that. Please do whenever you get a chance. Um, and you can read it on your own, right? My main um, topic that I want to talk about today is the plagiarism that is most common, and that is accidental plagiarism. And it basically boils down to you've taken the ideas from your research article and you just haven't put enough of your own thoughts and your own like kind of putting it into your own words it's still a little too similar to the original article and believe me i understand when i was doing my dissertation when i was working on my doctorate i had you know read thousands of pages probably of different researchers previous ideas and i even with all of my advanced years of education, sometimes really had a hard time with combining other people's thoughts into my own thoughts and ideas. So a lot of you guys don't have the background that I had when I was trying to do this. Please let me know, or please let me tell you that I get how difficult it is. And I'm giving you this warning up front because I know that most of the plagiarism I see is completely accidental, doesn't speak to you as a person or a student, just a lot of the time it has to deal with inexperience, especially with academic writing. So I'm going to leave this page now and go to the Start Here tab. And I am going to go to a part that you've probably seen. Hopefully you've seen it. If not, believe me, I understand. You had a lot to look through this first week. And it's called Turn It In Originality Checks. So what it is in a nutshell, Turn It In is a program that will take your final paper. So that means in week seven, when you've submitted your final paper, and it will run it through this program called Turnitin, and it compares your paper to tons and tons and tons and tons of other resources, you know, from internet resources, other research articles, um, articles that have been submitted to this course previously and other courses previously, tons and tons and tons of different resources on the internet, and it compares how similar is your paper to the papers that are out there in the universe that have already been submitted. And I will get a report that looks a little something like this is a little screen capture. Um, this is a screen capture actually from a video on YouTube. Um, I've given you the link to this video that explains a little more in detail about Turnitin reports. I'm trying to just give you the basics here so this doesn't take forever. Um, but so here's the paper that'll be submitted and then the program will give me what's called a similarity report where it basically shows me like what percentage of your paper is similar to other resources that have already been written out there. And again, the link that explains this a little more in detail and, you know, how you can interpret, ooh, is that too similar or not? Because that can be a really fine line. Even some professors don't necessarily agree. So this video gives you a really good overview of that so that you kind of have an idea of how that works ahead of time. And, of course, if you ever have any questions, as always, I'm happy to help. Well, what do you do because um, you don't have access to this Turnitin, right? Well, you do. Um, so if I go back to that Turnitin Originality Checks, it says here where it gives you directions for how you can view the report for any assignment that you have submitted. So you can tell you, see it gives you step-by-step -step instructions so you can actually see your own report. Now here's the thing that really bugs me is that the first three times you're gonna submit my, your paper to this class. So your milestone one, your milestone two, and your milestone three, those are discussion board assignments. And as much as I wish that Brightspace automatically ran your paper through Turnitin during those first three submissions, it doesn't. Um, because it doesn't work on discussion board assignments. It will only, so this turn it in report will only be generated automatically when you turn in your final paper. So I just, 
I'm going to repeat myself because this is so important. So the first time that this report will automatically be run is when you turn in your final paper for week seven. Well, holy cow, that is a little scary, especially if you're somebody like me who just really wants to make sure I'm doing a good job and check myself as I go. Um, that means that these directions here are kind of useless because Turnitin doesn't work on discussion boards, right? Um, there is a way, however, for you to do this, and I'm going to show you. So you're going to go here to Course Menu. We're going to go to Learning Modules, and I'm going to go to Module 2, because this is the week when you're going to turn in your Milestone 1 assignment. So remember that Milestone 1 is, hopefully you've already seen this part, it's like the introduction of what will end up being your final paper. So here, where you officially turn it in on the discussion board, again, this will not be run through turn it in. Okay, so that part is not going to be helpful for just checking to make sure that your paper is good to go as far as your originality. However, if you submit it to the optional milestone one submission, okay, so that's the optional one, it does, because you see the difference where here it's called discussion and then here it's called assignment. So that means that the discussion, again, won't be run through Turnitin, but the assignment will be run through Turnitin automatically. And you'll notice that in my announcement for week two, I said that I need this optional assignment by Tuesday night. If you want feedback from me. Okay, so that Tuesday night by midnight your time, if you want me to actually go through the paper and kind of pre-grade it, give you a chance to fix anything that you need to so that you can turn it back in for your real grade on Thursday, I have to have it by Tuesday night, okay? Um, but don't panic, because um, you can still run it through, turn it in, by turning it in here. So let's say you don't have your paper done Tuesday night, you're not ready for early feedback from me, but you still want to run it through turn it in to make sure that you're on the right page for avoiding plagiarism. You can go ahead and run this through at any point. I won't open any assignments that are turned in after Tuesday. So that means as late as, you know, Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, even before midnight, you can take your paper you can turn it in to Milestone 1 optional, and then you can go back to start here. You can go back to this turn it in link, and you can then follow the directions to view your turn it in score to make sure that you're in good shape before you turn it in officially in that Milestone 2. So let me go back here. Okay, so again, you know, I've kind of explained the difference. So there's two different places for you to turn that in. Um, if you just want the turn it in feedback, you know, that's where you'll do the optional submission. This is the one that's not optional. The, the discussion topic here has to be done. But if you want to use this one just to check for, you know, whether or not you're, you're in danger of plagiarism, that's where you're going to want to submit it because it does get run through the software. I know this is a lot of information um, to throw at you at one point, so if, and I'm trying to keep this short so I'm not droning on and on. So if there's anything about this that's unclear, please let me know. So what happens if you do happen to run it through Milestone 1 Submission Optional and you do get like a really high Turnitin score? So let's go back to the course menu. Let's go to Learning Modules. And I am going to scroll down here to where it says Academic Support. And this is where you can get some specific help with the actual writing. Um, I hate, you know, so much, like, I wish that I had time, you know, to, well, first of all, I'm really not a writing teacher. Um, I think I'm a pretty great math teacher, but when it comes to reading and writing, I'm not the best. It's not my area of expertise. Plus, it's really hard, even though I can give you some pretty good overall feedback about your structure. Um, you know, as far as the actual teaching you how to write, not really my forte. So let's say that you do your turn it in, 
or frankly you just want some extra help with getting the writing done yourself um, that is where you want to go is here under those academic resources um, you can actually submit your paper for written feedback to the writing center and um, all these links explain to you how you can get there um, to get their help you can do a lot of you can explain to them exactly what you're looking for like oh I need some guidance I tried to do the best I could but here's my turn it in score it's still really similar um, you know and and they'll give you some help and I found them to be very very helpful over the course of teaching this course so again if you have any questions whatsoever I know I crammed a whole lot of information into a short period of time please do not hesitate to let me know and I will talk to you soon